The wyvern, also known as Draconis vipera, is often called a dragon in video games, movies, and other forms of video entertainment. Although the wyvern is a fictional creature, it's distinguishable from a dragon due to the fact that dragons have wings that are separate from their legs, whereas a wyvern has its wings attached to its front legs. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Creature Spotlight, a series where I go through how to acquire, use, and defend yourself against the creatures in the spotlight. Today, we have wyverns. We're talking full-blown wyverns, not crystal wyverns. I'm gonna tell you how to get their eggs, raise the baby, get a full imprint, and much, much more. So, if you wanna grow your skills and all sorts of other ARC-related stuff, subscribe now so you don't miss anything. So, there are four types of wyverns that you can find yourself acquiring. Ice, poison, fire, and lightning. Each wyvern has a breath attack that represents its name, like the lightning wyvern having literal lightning breath. The first thing you're going to want to know about is how to actually get a wyvern, and fortunately the method of acquisition is the same for each species of wyvern. Unfortunately, wyverns are not tameable creatures, however, you can kidnap some eggs from their lair and raise your stolen baby for your own. Oh, I saw another egg. Let's grab this one. We're going to be hella quick, just to make it look legit. Grab, and go. I'm sorry, Pteranodon. Ah! Uh, Oh my god, we would be so dead if this wasn't creative mode right now. Go, go, go! Fly, fly, fly! No, no, no! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Once the eggs are stolen, it's important to make a decision. Do you want to imprint the wyvern to 100%, or do you not care that much and just want a badass creature around? If you want to imprint the wyvern, you're going to need some wyvern milk, so either give those eggs to a tribe mate, or put them in a fridge until you're ready to start hatching them. Getting wyvern milk can be a bit of a hassle if you're new to the process, considering you have to knock out a female wyvern and collect its milk, or straight up kill an alpha wyvern. There's a few ways to do this, but the method I use is, of course, trapping it. Alright, excellent. Um, so we're just gonna knock this, this female out. Once it's done, uh, it's gonna produce some wyvern milk for us. We grab that wyvern milk, go back to our baby, feed it to the baby, all that good stuff. You know, you could have made a gap for the Pteranodon and just flew through it. Yeah, I was a little worried, Reacher, that uh, if I made it big enough for the Pteranodon, it would be big enough for the Wyvern to fly through the top. I did a, li a little testing before I actually came out here, and uh, the Wyvern was able to fly through a pretty little gap. All right, there we go. You knocked out. Excellent. Great. So there's our Wyvern milk. It's really that simple, guys. You just knock it out. Uh, I know I actually didn't make it seem that simple. So you can use this wyvern milk essentially in place of food from uh, raw meat or any other type of food that a wyvern might eat all the way up to the juvenile stage. So I just want to reiterate that wyverns are special creatures and you can't feed them meat up until juvenile stage. So once it's juvenile, it can eat up out of feeding troughs, it can eat raw meat, all that good stuff. But until then, the only thing it can eat is wyvern milk. To, to keep its hunger up. And when it imprints, it's gonna want wyvern milk as well. So uh, definitely keep some of that wyvern milk on hand. As you could see, it didn't take us very long to actually knock the wyvern out. Knocking the wyvern out is probably the easiest part because it just kind of got real dumb and didn't want to do anything after after a minute. So, since. all right, so now this guy's a juvenile because our, our stats are ridiculous. So this guy can actually eat out of a, a trough right now, uh, which is fine. He's 45% matured. He's going to be matured, what, how long? An hour, maybe? He, we probably won't even see this imprint, which is fine. But now that we have this wyvern milk, he's going to eat it. He's just going to smash it. I guess I should probably tutorialize you guys on a wyvern, right? Show you guys how it works. Since we're doing it in a, a video that's teaching people how wyverns work, it would probably be beneficial to actually ride one and show you what's up with it so what's important about wyverns is they turn like a freaking bus okay they're like it's like driving a jet plane their turn radius is pretty big uh, compared to other flyers um they have a breath attack if you see my stamina in the top right i'm about to do the breath attack make sure you can see it that's how much stamina it does a shitload an absolute shitload, but that damage, the, the reason I like Lightning Wyvern so much is because the damage done with a, a with a Lightning Wyvern is just, this is the most DPS like Wyvern ever. We only got 378 stamina, so it takes like, what, like 
150 stamina. Okay, so we got 378. Uh, like a little over 100 stamina for that. So if you're using this guy for a DPS, I would do uh, melee damage and stamina, you know, health, all that good stuff. Uh, but he also has a bite attack. That's really good as well. And then you can also pick stuff up. Let me see what I can pick up over here. Uh, if you use C, uh, the button C, your tertiary attack, um, you can pick stuff up. I don't think we can pick up a Roo. We can try though. Hello, kangaroo. No. Flyers can't go in water. That's fine. Can you pick up an Equus? What about a Carno? Oh, just not enough stamina. Well, you can pick stuff up. There you go, guys. There's my Wyvern tutorial for you. Stop recording. Amazing. R2 or L2 to breath attack is what I assume for console. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. Left trigger for uh, breath, right trigger for uh, bite, and then click the left stick for uh, for the tertiary attack. I see. This is good for PvP in my opinion since it hits Rider 2. I'm pretty sure I do stuff, so yeah, abs absolutely. As far as PvP is concerned, Poison Wyvern is great because it knocks the Rider off. Um, Lightning Wyverns have their uses though as well. You know, honestly, Poison Wyverns are probably the best for PvP. Um, I can't really imagine a situation where a Lightning Wyvern is better for PvP than a Poison Wyvern. Um, unless you're like taking out dinos or something like that. If you're actually trying to kill the dino itself or kill the thing that you're aiming at, what, uh, Lightning Wyvern's probably the way to go. Can a Lightning Wyvern mate with a Fire Wyvern and make an extra large egg? You know, I'm not sure how the, the breeding works. I don't think you would be able to breed a Lightning Wyvern with a Fire Wyvern. I'm pretty sure, uh, you would have to tame Lightning Wyvern, or, uh, breed Lightning Wyvern with Lightning Wyvern. But actually, that's a really, really good thing to look up. So let's look that up really quick. Uh, since they're technically different creatures, I don't think they would be able to breed. I'm really, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> I want to check my, uh, I want to check my, my settings. Allow flyer carry PVE. Okay, so I didn't have it checked. If anybody's wondering, allow flyer carry PVE. Uh, now it is checked. And if I were to go back, which I'm not going to, but if I were to go back, then uh, it, we would totally be able to pick it up. So which wyvern is your favorite wyvern, and why is it the lightning wyvern? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, thank you so much for your time today. We'll see you in the next video.